Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another paint class on NASCAR Heat 4. Man, it has been a long time since I have done one of these. Thank you so much to everyone who has been super patient and very supportive of me. I've been super busy with college work and the Pro League wrapping up and traveling all over the place. But thanks to RCR and NASCAR, uh, it's just been an unbelievable journey so far. But let's go ahead. I'm going to shut my mouth. Let's go ahead and get straight to the video. So as you guys know, Tyler Reddick, the beast himself, won the Xfinity Championship in Homestead, back-to-back -back, uh, championships, uh, as a matter of fact. And I am wearing one of the hats from Victory Lane right now. Again, super thankful to be part of the RCR family and witness that in person. The guy's a wheelman. I cannot wait to see what he does in 2020 in his rookie year in that eight car. I thought it'd be great to bring back the series and pay homage to the man himself, the wheelman, by throwing it back to his truck series time at BKR Racing. As y'all know, uh, BKR is no longer a team in NASCAR, but it did have some good days and some drivers that are still in uh, NASCAR that were part of that team, henceforth Tyler Reddick. And here's the scheme right here that we are gonna be making today. Before we get straight to the tutorial, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and ooh, I pointed the wrong way. Before we jump into the tutorial, make sure to follow me on all my social platforms right up there on that top right corner on Instagram, Twitter, and guys, hit that subscribe button. Let's make the Sloppy Nation even bigger and better every single day. Pound that subscribe button. So starting off this tutorial, you want to find that uh, base paint scheme that's going to work the best. If we're going to go straight from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is going to be the best one. Go with paint scheme number 10 as your base color for the Tyler Reddick truck. Now the base paint is obviously going to be a blue. It looks more of like a navy blue. Uh, this one could work, but we want to go a little bit darker. It seems like the truck has a little bit more of a uh, darker deep ocean blue. If you ever been in the deep ocean before, it's very, very dark. It still has a little bit of blue in it, but uh, we'll go with that dark blue for now. Style one is gonna be that bottom color as you see down there that's already black. And for this one, we wanna go with the, I was thinking about going with the white here, but just doing some research and everything, I feel like the gray will probably work the best here. Now we'll go back and forth on this one because as you can see in the picture, there's already some white on the bottom, but there's also gray and then another little white line. So it's a little hard to choose which one I want for this, but I'm gonna go with the gray here. And we're actually gonna go with a, we're gonna go with the lighter gray to kind of just make it shine a little bit more. Uh, Cause the gray's a little bit, the gray's a little bit brighter on this one. Stripe two, easy one enough is gonna be white. You wanna go ahead and get your beautiful, beautiful white there for stripe number two. Number's pretty simple, you wanna go to number 19. He did drive the 29, but this scheme is the 19, so we'll go to the 19. Uh, we have 19A, 19B, and 19C. Uh, you can go with either or, uh, the B is a bigger number, but for this one, we'll go with C just cause it kinda fits the font more of this car, so that's the one we're gonna do. Number fill is easy, that one's just gonna be white. Go ahead with a white for the number fill. The black outline fits perfectly for this uh, for this truck as that's what it is in real life. Now this is the fun part about the trucks. Uh, trucks seem to have more fun with the rim styles than the Cup Series do. And for this one, you can go with a nice, it's like a chrome silver. Uh, the silver looks really good right there. You can also do the, looks like, that looks like the chrome option right there. Uh, but for this one, let's, let's go with the chrome. I think the chrome is the way to go for this one. Now the sponsors, uh, they do they do work really well with these kind of trucks uh, because the base scheme is blue all the way around. Uh, you just gotta find that one uh, that one sponsor that works really well. And uh, ironically, here since we have some new sponsors that came with the new NASCAR Heat 4 update, Off Axis Paint actually looks pretty good for this. So we're gonna have some fun with this and put Off Axis Paint as our hood sponsor. Now the side sponsor, you can do a, a few things with this. Uh, I was kind of looking around a little bit for which one would work the best, and I just kind of thought that the Freightliner would work well, uh, just because it fits with the other colors, the silver outline, it's got some silver uh, wording in there, and the black. Go with Freightliner as your side sponsor. Rear quarter, we're gonna put off-axis paint there as our rear quarter panel. The deck lid, we're gonna put off-axis paint as well. And of course, the rear TV is gonna be off-axis paint. 
So guys, fairly simple and off. That's a fairly easy uh, truck to make. Just a little homage to Tyler Reddick, the back-to-back -back champ in the Xfinity Series. That'll be go back to his roots when he started in NASCAR. He is going to be a rookie next year at Richard Children's Racing in the number eight car. I am so excited to be rooting for him. The guy is a wheel man, and I cannot wait to see what he does. However, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for being so patient as I have not put a new video up in a while. I've been super busy, but hopefully I'll have more videos out for you guys really, really soon. Again, make sure to... I did it again. I, went the... I pointed the wrong way, didn't I? Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and pound that subscribe button there. Let's make that Sloppy Nation bigger and better every single day. Again, leave in the comments your paint schemes that you would like to see make me for a Sloppy Paint Booth class. This is Sloppy Joe signing out, and remember to always stay sloppy. I'll see you guys at the next paint class.